सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू योर पीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म सो माई दिस वीडियो इज रिलेटेड टू द भारत इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लिमिटेड 340 फोर्टी वैकेंसीज रिक्रूटमेंट नोटिफिकेशन एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटीरिया रिलेटेड डाउट्स देर सो मेनी डाउट्स आर कमिंग विद द कैंडिडेट्स रिलेटेड टू द दिस फाइनल ईयर एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटीरिया विच ब्रांचिज आर एलिजिबल अलाइड ब्रांचिज आर एलिजिबल और नॉट रिलेटेड टू द एज क्राइटीरिया रिलेटेड टू द ओ बी सी एस सी एस टी सर्टिफिकेट ईज डब्ल्यू एस सर्टिफिकेट प्लेस ऑफ पोस्टिंग एंड एग्जाम सेंटर्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑल दीज क्वेरीज मीन रिलेटेड टू दीज क्वेरीज इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड मे बी दिस वीडियो मे गो लॉन्ग सो बिफोर आई कम टू दिस वीडियो दिस कंटेंट पार्ट लेट मी अनाउंस यू टू थिंग्स योर पीडिया दिस टाइम इज दिस स्टार्टिंग द मॉड्यूल फॉर ऑल द फोर ब्रांचेज फॉर मैकेनिकल फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फॉर इलेक्ट्रिकल फॉर कंप्यूटर साइंस फॉर दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड फोर सेपरेट व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप दो आर फ्री व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप on uh, those whatsapp group we are on the daily basis we will share some content which may help you to basically uh, prepare for this exam from there you will get an idea that how you should prepare what type of question you should prepare and how the exam requirements are different from the gate examination although if you have gone through the previous papers of the bel then you must be having idea uh, although the mentors are also covering those points in the detailed videos of where they are doing the previous papers analysis there they are explaining that okay these are the topic which are not relevant for the gate exam but for these exam it is very very important paper is very simple and one liner paper which normally you avoid topics for the gate examination so it is different exam so just join to those whatsapp group the links are available in the description of the videos second thing uh, we are starting the module the live classes from 1st of november because in the meantime you are having so many exams isr exam is there oil india exam is also on 1st or 2nd of november and then this nhpc exam is also there there are so many exams lined up in this week so that is the reason why we have uh, decided to start the live classes from 1st of november and what you have to do if you are having any query related to uh, this particular exam preparation although the details are mentioned on the website uh, you can fill the google form which is available in the description of the video you can fill that now come to the part where uh, you are going to get heavy all the queries clear related to this bl the very first query is related to the eligibility criteria of the final year see final year is not eligible normally for any public sector they they ask for the document at the time of document verification you should have your degree your mark sheet should be available in your hand but as this advertisement came in october exam is expected in january and february after that the interview then the document verification will be there which may complete by this process may complete by april or maximum in the may by that time you will not be having your degree or marks or result in your hand which is required for this thing so finally it is not eligible but if you want to apply it's your call you can apply you can practice for the particular exam that is not going to be any trouble for that after that um, now come to the eligible qualification now here we are having also doubt related to the branches that which branches are eligible they have clearly mentioned the branches over there they have clearly mentioned first class first thing is that first class is required your cgp your percentage should be in the first class second class are not eligible for that be btech bs engineering graduate from aict approved colleges now here the doubt is also coming sir bsc three year bsc is eligible no four year bsc is required because now as per the new education policy 2020 four year uh, engineering courses are also being started in so many colleges so four years uh, is eligible with these branches now they have clearly mentioned over here other equivalent disciplines and dual specializations will not be considered sir my branch is electronics and instrumentation or electrical and instrumentation am i eligible no you are not eligible clearly mentioned you should have either btech in electronics electronics and communication electronics and telecommunication only in communication only in telecommunication in mechanical production also not eligible for that industrial also not eligible for that computer science computer science and engineering and computer science engineering it is also not eligible for that clearly mentioned they clearly mentioned no equivalent discipline if you can produce a certificate from your college also that okay it is equivalent to computer science you will not be eligible for that and specialization other specialization dual specialization with the combination other combination also not eligible like there are in in thapar there is electrical and computer electronics and computer engineering again you are not eligible for that so you should have only these combinations eligible after that the age criteria see there is always a particular date is being provided in any advertisement that whatever they have to calculate either the age either any other thing they will provide you one date the date here is 
फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर वट एवर कैलकुलेशन दे हैव टू डू वट एवर रिक्वायरमेंट स्पेशली फॉर द एज फैक्टर दैट दे विल डू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर सो अबाउट द एज क्राइटेरिया दे हैव क्लियरली मैंशन यू शुड हैव द ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट फर्स्ट ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ यू आर एज इफ after this particular date you will not be eligible they will not consider one year one uh, date one particular day also in the eligibility criteria similarly for obc ncl there are the relaxation that will come later for sc st also there are the relaxation pw bd yes there are the 10 year relaxation sc st there are uh, five year relaxation for obc ncl there is three year relaxation there are so many candidate who, who do not lie in the obc ncl category but they are in the obc uh, this criminal cl category they will not get the benefit of the fees or any other reservation only the benefit is the with the obc ncl because ncl is belongs to the this uh, 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 income related thing right ews ncl this is related to the income right so only those get the benefit for the obc ncl so whatever thing they have to calculate that will be from this particular date only now here also one more doubt is there uh, which is uh, also very common doubt about the um income certificates about the obc ncl and the oews certificate see they as they are related to the finance so financial year which is being calculated from 1st of april to 31st of march so they have clearly told you that your this income certificate should be between the financial year of 24 25 issued after 1st of april 2025 so if you don't have the certificate for ews or obc ncl you can make it right now that will be eligible before that or after this will not be eligible let us suppose your interviews although this will be required this they will check only after the at the time of document verification let us suppose your document verification goes beyond the 31st of uh, march 2026 in that case if you make the document ews or obc ncl after that they will not allow you this this is a very important thing which you basically realize after the Uh, uh at the time of document verification sir i have not don't have the any 24 25 certificate i have 23 20 23 24 certificate i have 25 26 certificate but i don't have 24 25 certificate they have clearly mentioned this 24 25 certificate is required so if you don't have just uh, uh, get it uh, apply it and get it uh, from the uh, this uh, uh, authorities so right now if you don't have the certificate 24 25 and it takes time to make that yes you can apply with the older one that is not an issue but at the time of document verification you should have this 24 25 and you can add while applying with the old certificate you just attach one undertaking also over there and you can also add the uh, receipt that okay showing that okay you have applied for the new one also right so about this is about the disability about the number of post we are not going to discuss about the place of posting also so many students having the doubt that okay sir where will be the posting so these are the locations where you will be having the posting in bangalore in karnataka gaziabad up pune maharashtra hyderabad telangana chennai tamil nadu this andhra pradesh mathilipatnam panchkula in haryana only and code dwara this uttarakhand and navi they have also conducted so many a uh, fixed term uh, tenure exams also for these particular locations they have also conducted for them we are going to uh, there will be so many videos will come in the coming week where you will get a crystal clear idea the analysis of the exams and so many other things that how you have to basically prepare for these exams and your pd is a platform who has done last time also and we have given so many selections soon you will get those selections videos also interactions also where they will give you the very clarity okay how to proceed how to prepare they will also share their experiences over there last date to apply is 14th of november application fees method of selection i am not going to discuss over here cbt i am not going to discuss syllabus i am not going to discuss over here do not send any hard copy it is clearly mentioned so i think i have covered majority of your points final years not eligible branch allied not eligible age factor i covered obc and other certificate ha there is one more also doubt related to the um the format of the certificate see they have given some annexures they give you some certificate uh, formats uh, no no authority can give you the certificate in that particular format but they can attest that just download that document fill your details and get it attested over there sign over there they will do that that is not an trouble but they will not make the certificate in that particular format right after that one more doubt is there that is related to the exam centers so that uh, is come coming later part over there the exam center so these are the exam centers almost in all the states the you will find the exam centers in punjab 
in assam bihar chandigarh delhi gujarat jammu and kashmir you will find the centers over there or all the thing so here also they have clearly mentioned about the age criteria as on this thing and uh, uh, first class is required gst uh, these are the allied things which are eligible electronics only these branches are eligible mechanical only mechanical is eligible for computer these are eligible for electrical these branches are eligible ha huh, there is one more thing so you will be having the choice to choose the hindi or the english paper over there A majority of you will choose obviously the english only because all of you must have done your btech in the uh, in this um, english language only so uh, that's it from my side if you still are having any doubt relating to the eligibility criteria you can put in the comment box definitely i will reply over there or you can directly contact on this number google form link is there in the description uh, box and this uh, 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 whatsapp groups uh, this uh, uh, links are also being provided in the description of the video join that and all the best from your pedia uh, team and uh, all the best for your uh, best of luck for your future exams and from 1st of november we will start the process we will start the live classes immediately like students have started enrolling that immediately you will get access to the previous content immediately previous batch content full batch and the micro module all access you will get immediately and from 1st of november we are starting the live classes right thank you and all the best to all of you